Um, so I just saw the movie last night, and um, what struck me is that the role that you're playing is actually very tricky and difficult mm -hmm. to do, yeah. and to do it well without, and this doesn't mean that I think you look silly, but there's a risk always mm -hmm. when you're playing that swoony, mm -hmm. good-looking guy. And, and I, I just wondered if, if when you first read the screenplay, did that frighten you in any way, or, or what, what was your first yeah. reaction? I thought it was impossible when I first read it. And so I didn't go and I got told about it about five months before I did the audition. And I was just like, I can't, I can't do it. It's an impossible part to play. You can only play it as a kind of two-dimensional like, blob. Like, you just have to be like a ma man meat. <laughs> like, you just come in and take your shirt off and like, you know, just be some bland thing which people can project whatever they want onto. And and I didn't have to do that. I didn't even want to bother getting a six pack. I mean, <laughs> so um, even in the audition, that was part of the audition. You had to take your shirt off. Like, just, you know, I was like, seriously, I don't even. I mean, I'll tell you right now. Like, <laughs> if, it's, if that's the contest, like, I wouldn't get it. But uh, they actually made you work out a little, as I recall. Yeah, no, I worked out tons for it. But um, um, yeah, no, it was. I mean, it is a very tricky part, especially yeah. Especially you don't want to end up like an idiot. I haven't seen it, so I mean, I probably did end up looking like an idiot. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, uh, I, I went, I went, and uh, and I thought at the beginning when 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 he's, you know, when you read the book and you don't understand why he's behaving mm -hmm. the way he does, you know, you, it must have been sort of, you know, why are you behaving like an asshole? Yeah. You know, at the beginning. Yeah. Why are you? Explain it. Well, it's like. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's the same thing about, like, if you think, if you think, I mean, I mean, trying to humanize it, it's literally, if you, if you think you're a dick, then, I mean, in the most basic terms, and you really like someone, and you're, and, and uh, you feel there's a connection there, and there's a possibility of something happening, I mean, I do this so many times, like, when you're like, when, whenever I like someone, I'm just like, don't like me, that I'm a dick, <laughs> like, and that, that was the kind of, mentality to obviously much more extreme effect but like you can't stop hanging out with the person but at the same time whenever you're around them you're like seriously that you really should not like I'm gonna ruin you uh, so how did I just um, realized why Stephanie Meyer said in that interview I, why wouldn't be a good boyfriend I've suddenly realized <laughs> 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 I was just wondering all day oh yeah um well, you're a very good boyfriend. You're the fantasy boyfriend in this, which is one of the reasons why women are responding as, as strongly as they are. Can you analyze that a little in terms of, you know, it's the part that was written, it's the part that's created that, mm. that people are responding to so strongly, and then they're throwing you yeah. into the mix. They just transferred it. Exactly. Um, I still don't really know, because, I mean, I think I played it different to how it is in the book. I mean, you see, I, I don't know. I felt like I was doing it slightly differently. Explain. Maybe, uh, <laughs> no, tell me. What was your concept? Well, I mean, just in the book, he's so he's so in control of himself. Like, even though he says he isn't, you always get the you get the feeling of security when you're when you're reading the book. You know that when mm. when he says, "I don't want to do anything to harm you," uh, you know I'll never harm her ever. But I really wanted to make it, you know. A lot of stuff had I had to change because it was too different from the book. But I mean, even little tiny things like at the end when, when at the, at, at the prom. I mean, uh, just silly little things. I tried to make it look painful. You did. Just, uh, yeah. You looked like you were struggling. Yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And well, there's something else that it, that goes into uh, movies. Are, are they have to look real? Yeah. You know, you you have to bring it to life. Yeah. As yeah. it were. And was there a debate about the makeup? Yeah, a lot of it. A Tell me of it. what went on with that. Um, well, I think because I think because I don't have very many like, lines on my face and stuff, they couldn't do like too white because it took away all my expression, um, and so it was much. I guess mine is a lot finer the makeup than uh, on on a lot of the other vampires because I just looked like a kind of kabuki thing. <laughs> I mean kind of half kabuki, half like transvestite. And uh, I mean, so they had to do that. And then they ended up doing an airbrush uh, thing. And then I thought, 
forgot somebody else brought up like lipstick <laughs> which I, I didn't really understand the concept behind the lipstick but uh <laughs> just various different things I mean I, I wasn't particularly involved I was just like the victim you did <laughs> what you were told right yeah. right right <laughs> I didn't even think about the makeup and stuff when I was going into it I just so I was looking um I got a screener of the movie how to be Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And I wondered why it hasn't got a distributor. Have you any knowledge of, of that? And, and when did you shoot that in relation to, to this movie, Twilight? That was... Um, so this year I was doing Twilight. I shot it last year, the, in spring last year. Um, I don't know why it hasn't got a distributor. I think it's just because it's like, it's just very random. I mean, it's that's why I liked it. It was kind of it doesn't it's almost impossible to market. And when whenever you see like a kind of how they try to market, it's like that's not what it is. <laughs> I was thinking that if they put it up on the internet, yeah, your fans would want to watch it, well, yeah, I mean, and that that would be a way to present it. There's, I mean, I think that's what I mean. All the the, uh, the festivals it's going into now, um, it's definitely. I mean, Twilight's obviously helping it out. I mean, it always gets like the Audience Choice Awards and all these things, because <laughs> um, all Twilight fans will turn up to it. Go into the Austin Film Festival and it's like packed. There are like uh, hundreds of people there. <laughs> but, but it's uh, this little tiny, low budget, yeah. quirky uh, British movie. Yeah. yeah. And he's very sad sack, very depressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the script so much. It was so different to other things I read. And even that, I mean, I thought. The end of it I loved so much, but it's changed now, but at the end when he has the big gig at the end, um, no one clapped in the script <laughs> at all, and he doesn't even notice. And I thought that's such a great...